You know what guys, this is my second time trying to film this video and I'm sorry if you can hear the AC I had to move to my own room As you can tell, I already have something on my face It's just my Cetaphil Pro Oil Absorbing Moisturizer and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer And I know it kind of looks weird right now, but you know what? It's gonna look good, trust me. Today I'm going to explain why I haven't uploaded in like six, seven, eight months while also doing a get ready with me. Well, honestly, it's not because my mental health has declined, but because it has improved and I just haven't had as much time to upload and to edit, film, whatever since September. Honestly, I did have some time in December, but I was occupied with other stuff and I was also in vacations. That's what happened. It turns out that I'm actually an extrovert and that I I really really need to hang out with people so that I can be happy and charged it's not like my happiness depends on other people but it's more that my energy genuinely depends on me talking to other people at least four times a week because I get not bored but I get so tired when I don't hang out with people I don't know it's what's genuinely helped me get out of my rut because if you're a long time follower you've known that i was really struggling last year because my friends moved to another country anyways that's literally not the point of the video you're not here to listen to me rant about my friends and what happened last year you're here to know why i haven't been uploading and i'm sorry i know i feel like a failure but honestly it's what i needed i really really needed a break from youtube because my mental health was rapidly declining and i needed a change desperately and without youtube it was easier for me to know what was helping me what wasn't helping i don't promise that i'm gonna be consistent on youtube as i was because i'm probably not gonna have time to upload as much and edit i miss talking face to face to others and just exchanging ideas in real time don't get me wrong i love youtube with my whole heart it's just not what i needed to have while i discovered that you know really love hanging out with people oh my gosh i started having less time because i got myself involved with other activities for example i started joining bible study i started doing model un and that took a lot of my time and at my school that's a pretty huge thing i discovered that i really really love helping other people so i started doing more charity work not charity work but just volunteering a little bit more and i don't know just hanging out with more people and doing things out of my comfort zone but also i would edit my videos friday night because i upload it saturday morning and now i just don't have friday night nights out like i'm either doing homework or hanging out with people going to parties being a teenager i know kind of weird concept i'm new to it as well but yeah i've been kind of burnt out with youtube i just haven't been inspired like nobody's inspiring me i don't know what i want to upload i realized that i started to live my life so that i can film it instead of filming me live my life so i was filming vlogs and those vlogs just weren't me because i was doing those things in order to vlog them it was really weird i don't know just a lot of self-discovery i guess i just decided that i'm going to start youtube again but i'm not gonna have an uploading schedule i'm sorry i'm, I'm just not it's not realistic i don't thrive off of a routine i think i've really tried to be a type one person i can't it just makes me sad i have to do things because i want to do them not because i have to do them this looks kind of cakey but i Rummus, it's not really and it's gonna look normal once i have my lashes and i'm getting ready because today's my best friend's party she's 17 now i'm just excited we actually have a theme and it's to dress all white which is why i'm doing my white liner this is scary although i love how white liner looks on my eye turns out my phone ran out of storage so i had to delete some things anyways y'all don't care about that i was just trying to explain what i have been doing with my time now that i'm not really doing youtube but let me just finish doing my eyeliner on this side first thing i've done with my i guess extra time is socializing more with other people making new friends strengthening the relationships that i already had and also focusing on school not a lot to be honest i would say that last year i was really committed to school but now school is not my only priority you know i also take time to hang out with others also a thing that really helped me with my mental health was going back to in-person school i really did not realize how much i needed it what else can i say about me this last year i got more 
more involved with religion. I've always kind of been a religious person and my family has always gone to church. But I don't know. I decided, you know what? Let's get involved in church again. That's something that has also made me very happy. Honestly, I'm excited for this new season of my life. I will really want to emphasize being authentic myself. So I'm not gonna post things that I don't feel comfortable with or that I don't like or that I feel are too staged. Sometimes my morning routines were fake and I did them just so I could have content for that week. I, I don't want to do that anymore. I really don't. I'm very, very tired of how fake social media can be and I just don't want to contribute to that. What do I gain from being fake on social media? Absolutely nothing. And it's not like people watch my videos. I just do them because I want to. It was really affecting my mental health because I was like, I don't know, living a fake life, I guess. And it's weird making this video because I haven't verbalized these feelings to anyone. Well, actually, I have. I did yesterday to a friend and she was very supportive of me. And most of my videos now are gonna be vlogs because I have an interesting-ish kind of life now. I just wanna leave it as it is. If a person watches it, then I'm happy. If no one watches it, then I'm happy. If one of my videos go viral, I'm happy. Whatever happens, happens. And I'm not gonna put as much pressure on myself as I used to do because I also credit my worth to how successful my videos were. And if they were flopping, I would get so mad at myself. I think that contributed to my burnout. And I just don't want it to happen again because I really need this creative outlet. I went off camera and did my bottom lashes. I think they look pretty cool. I like my makeup for today. And yeah, honestly, that's everything I wanted to say. Um, Expect a new video sometime, someday. I promise I am gonna be a little more active on YouTube. Well, a little more active. It's not hard. I've literally been unactive for like eight months. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as I'm really trying, okay? And I'm trying. I am. I'm really trying to have this creative outlet for myself and let myself enjoy. Because some of my closest friendships right now started because I was so open about having a YouTube channel and I was just kind of left it. And my friends are actually like kind of harassing me. They're like, oh my god, where's the new video? And I'm like, I really don't know. Like, actually, when's the new video gonna come out? I'm now gonna change into something that's formal white. I really have no clue what I'm gonna wear. I know I have some white jeans, but that's as far as my knowledge goes. I'm just putting everything in its place. And you see, I feel like I am so much more happier now and that I can make greater videos now. And since I had that model UN experience, I just can express myself clearer and make a point without rambling too much, which is gonna be great for editing because i used to edit for like hours on end cutting out my mistakes and cutting out me rambling anyways okay i'm gonna change and see what i can do with like formal things yeah i'm back at my parents bathroom because lighting got a little better i think and i can also show you my entire outfit this is literally everything i know i'm gonna wear white jeans that's it i have to find a white shirt that can make it look semi-formal i have this white long sleeve turtleneck but i don't know if it's gonna look weird or if i have to pair it with this but i really am hoping that this looks normal because i don't want to wear this simply because it's color these are all the white shirts i have by the way but most of them just don't fit the theme because it's semi-formal and i have like a white tank top. Okay, no, I'm not gonna wear this. First of all, it's not the same shade of white. This is like a enough white and it just doesn't look good together. I don't know. I don't I don't like it. Maybe maybe with the vest, but as I said, I don't want to wear the vest because it has color. I don't feel like this looks bad. It's just yeah, it's not the vibes. Let me try on this one. You know what? This is the outfit I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna wear my Air Force and change the laces to a hot pink like this one. And you know what? I just remembered. I have a small red baguette bag and I'm gonna wear that. Yeah, I have my outfit. And it's not the most formal per se, but it's all white. So this is my final fit with the bag. And I think I might just be a genius. And also look at my shoes. I have to clean them still because they're not completely white. And I have to change the shoelace color because they're like a burgundy. And my nails are more of a hot pink. But honestly, I'm like obsessed with this. Like how am I wearing an all white outfit without making it look weird? This video took a much more positive approach than I thought it would, but that makes me happy. Those are the clothes that we haven't hung up yet. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, if you're still here. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. Okay, bye. I love y'all.